friends namaste in this lecture we are going to study the concept of covariance or say introduction of covariance but uh, let us take the first the concept of variance and standard deviation very briefly because like covariance these two are also contribution from the great karl pearson variance mean of the deviations mean of the squared values of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean variance is according to karl pearson variance is the mean of the squared values of the deviations taken from mean and on the other hand standard deviation is the positive square root of the mean of the squared values of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean or simply now we can say that standard deviation is the positive square root of variance here in case of variance and standard deviation we take only one variable into consideration at a time because we are interested in studying the distance between the actual data value and its arithmetic mean but now if we believe two variables to be correlated Karl Pearson suggested the concept of covariance he suggested that we should study the differences between actual data value and arithmetic mean simultaneously if we want to study the relationship or say correlation between the two variables and he developed mathematically the concept of covariance according to his development we can conclude that the covariance is the mean summation divided by n always gives mean covariance is the mean of the products products means multiplication mean of the products of the deviations from arithmetic means that means for this purpose we have to first find out simply x minus x bar that means deviations of variable x from its arithmetic mean and deviations of variable y from its arithmetic mean then product then summation and then division by number of observations or n so ultimately by definition this formula is with us covariance is the mean of the products of the deviations taken from the arithmetic means the covariance can be positive or negative according to the type of relationship between the two variables say x and y as previously we had discussed the types of correlation there can be positive correlation or negative correlation between the two variables if in general most of the values of dependent variable changes in the same direction as the direction of the change of the values of independent variable that means there is say the values of both the variables change in same direction then there will be positive correlation and if the values of the two variables change in the opposite to each other rather opposite direction there can be negative correlation and according to that fact there can be the sign of covariance that means covariance can be positive or negative now practically our senior statisticians have suggested that we should not use directly this formula if we are analyzing the sample data we should calculate sample covariance through the formula sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by n minus 1 the difference between these two formula is nothing but here in case we take n minus 1 and in this case in case of population covariance we divide it by simply n we respect our seniors so we have to follow these two formula according to the available data whether it is a sample data or population data but the most important two things are first is the meaning the covariance is the mean of the products of the deviations from the arithmetic means and the formula for sample covariance or other calculation of sample covariance we divide sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar by n minus 1 while in case of population covariance we divide it just by 
simple, rather population size n. That's all. Thank you very much.